love working with other designers, other artists, seeing something, maybe initially a drawing or a sketch, and what it actually turns out to be. And that transformation of an idea to an actual piece that no one expects. When it's fabricated and then receiving texture and metal and getting polished, and then the patina and the colors and then the sheen, and then this finished piece that's like, how in the world is this metal now? I love that. I'm Wendy Sheck. I'm an artist based in the 40 West Art District in Lakewood, Colorado, and I coat anything with real metal. Metal can be a difficult medium to work with as an artist. I worked in film and I did props and I saw a piece of PVC pipe with real metal on it, real copper, that was oxidized. And I was just blown away by how could this metal be on something plastic. So I found out a little bit more about the process and decided to start my own company doing metal coating. Metal as a medium is a living finish. It changes. It's an artistic thing. Like, I could never do the same finish, duplicate it twice. It's like trying to reproduce a watercolor, that it's just not possible. You can use the same colors and you can use the same paper, but whatever is different that day, those things are going to factor into the final product. One of my favorite things is the collaboration part to work with the designer or the homeowner or a group of people to have the piece that we're doing fit into the environment in like the most beautiful way that it can. I love metal because of its sheen. I think that it has that reflectiveness to it, that it's, it's hard, it's durable, it's kind of tough, it's cool. You can change the color of the piece, the range of sheens that you can get from metal. There's so many things that you can do. You could have something that's wood and brass, and depending on the texture and the patina and the sheen, it could be 500 different looks. It's just unlimited and it's just really fun. When I get into a piece, it's like, I have this idea of where I want it to go. One of the coolest things is to actually have a piece that you're working on that changes that you're making it different. That act of using my hands and my mind and deciding how something's gonna look and then it is that, I think it's really cool. And I don't know where that comes from. It's something that I think is really special. I'm really grateful that it's in my mind, you know, that I have it, because it's one of my favorite things to just lose myself in creating or making something. This episode of Beyond the Gallery is made possible by Colorado Creative Industries, the Betcher Foundation, and the National Endowment for the Arts. <laughs>